And we're back here on another video, man. And we back. I'm back here on another story time. Not moments of my life, but story time, man. So I got two segments, moments of my life. And I guess this is my first time doing story time. And informing you guys, man. So, um, if you guys are wondering, I'm not. This is actually the first time I'm having a live gameplay. I'm very surprised myself because usually I record live and usually that shit fucks me up. So this is from theater mode. And I must say. Um, I didn't know they had theater mode. I, I did not know they brought the shit back. I'm very surprised they did. Um, I, I guess it was called it the ghost with no theater mode. But, um, yeah, I guess this is not hardcore, by the way. This is actually uplink. I'll get some more frequent. Um, I'm, I, I don't, because it doesn't show you your score street. It doesn't show the score or anything like that. So, um, yeah, so today's story time, man. This shit happened. This recently just fucking happened, man. Um, this past Sunday, man. Wait, was it Sunday? Yeah, it was Sunday. All right. So as you guys, you cry, so as you guys don't know, my ass work at Home Depot. I work outside in in the lot. Which, if you guys don't know, what the lot means I work outside to get baskets. I also help customers to the car if they need it. Um, I also have my forklift license. So yeah, yada yada yada. So um, in this particular day, you know, in the return section, you know, all your people like to return shit, get the money back. Um, this customer brought back a toilet. And for some reason, you know, he he already installed it. Now, if you already fucking install something, why would you bring it back? And we don't re we don't return stuff like that, and we don't want to sell it to a customer. I don't, I, I don't know about all this shit. I'm working in the department. But anyways, <clears throat> so he returns it, right? And you know, like, everything installed. Now, I, I, they were trying to figure out why he would be wrong returning or installed it. So I don't know what was wrong with the damn shit. But yeah, so you know, my, my home grad working returns. She's basically told me the story. So, and she said. You know, he was trying to figure out what was, like, he wanted another one, something was wrong with it. So, we told him no, since it's already been installed. Now, he brought back the, the toilet, but with no fucking box. I mean, without the box, he just had a receipt. Now, he gets mad because he told him no, and I said, you already spent your money on this shit. I mean, if it's fucked up, you know, you might as well try to sell shit on eBay or something. Or try to do something with it. Now, he he goes down, by, like, probably like around register one, I think. He went to go get a cart. I think he put the toilet on the cart. Now, he comes back, he picks the motherfucking toilet up, and he, now, it has feces in it, if you guys don't know what feces means, I'm gonna say it in good logical terms, y'all guys understand, it was shit in the toilet, shit, that's just fucking disgusting, so he had shit in the toilet, I guess it was shit, he dropped it, and shit went everywhere, toilet water, you know what I'm saying, now, why would you wanna, no, we, we don't wanna take back a damn toilet, you know, got your ass cheeks on there, you know what I'm saying? Somebody probably bust a motherfucking nut. Y'all probably had some toilet. We don't know what you did with the toilet. So that's why you probably take it. But you could at least flush the motherfucking toilet. That's just fuck. I don't know if it's shit. I don't know. But shit, it was shit water with everyone on the motherfucking floor. Now, that couldn't have been me. I probably would have chased his ass down. I probably would have beat the shot him. That, that probably would just me. And if I was probably in that area at that time, they probably would have had me clean that shit up. And I think me and my managers would have had a fucking problem because I'm not cleaning it after shit after nobody. The only shit I'm cleaning up is after me as I got done taking the, uh, taking the shit. After, after I take my shit, that's why my ass. That's the only thing I'm cleaning up. I ain't cleaning up nobody else's shit. You ain't old. You ain't a toddler. You ain't a baby. I'm not cleaning up shit after nobody. But the, the craziest part about it is, and he left. Like nothing ever happened. I probably would have fucking called the police or something. That's fucking disgusting, dude. Who does that shit? Now, if you guys are wondering, what, what was his ethnicity? He was Mexican. I mean, I don't know any, you know, that could, if, if I was in a situation, if I'm gonna do some sh any shit like that, I probably would have fucking dropped it on somebody else. So, I was in a big ass area full of customers and just probably talk so much shit. But, um, I hope nobody from my job sees this shit because, um, <laughs> they might fire my ass for, you know, explaining shit. About this, but um, I got a lot more stories for you guys, man. Um, <clears throat> like I said, this, this shit was insane. You just don't drop shit in the toilet. Now, now the, when I went in there, the toilet was still there. It was in a, it was on a little cart, and they had to sweep the shit up. You know, put a little uh wet fly, wet, wet sign on the motherfucking floor. So I was like, wow. And I knew what to do who cleaned it up. And I wanted to go ask, you know, you had fun cleaning up that shit. Now, guys, I mean. Have you guys? I, I'm surprised. Cause this is shit. I've been there nearly, I think, eight, six months, <clears throat> and I have never seen weird shit. Like, I see some weird shit, but I never seen some weird shit to an extent where you got to drop a fucking toilet with shit in it. That's just fucking insane to me, man. So um, it's basically quick. It's a quick little story, man. 
Um, if you guys enjoyed it, man, let me know, man. I will bring you guys. I probably I got another story time after this. Bring you guys two story times videos today, man. So hope you guys enjoyed it, man. He dropped shit in my phone Twitter. So if you guys do and did enjoy it, um, let me know in the comment section, man. I pr I will probably continue at least once or twice a week. So I um, hope you guys can enjoy it, man. And so um, I don't know how long the gameplay is gonna be. So enjoy the gameplay, man. I'm gonna go ahead and turn my mic off, man. Y'all boys have fun. Thank you, boy. One, I think you had like 51, 61 kills, man. But um, I'll see you guys in another video, man. Peace. Satellite carrier is down. They're against the wall. Press your advantage. Vector down. 